Hi, I'm here with some exciting news. Uh, there was actually a study uh, released, published uh, earlier this month, that uh, is showing one of the key causes of the reason for pelvic pain in women with endometriosis. Um, and then this team focused on a, a type of immune cell, a white blood cell called a macrophage. And macrophage comes from the Greek term big eater, macro big, phage eater. And really they're kind of the garbage collectors where they eat up uh, different things. I uh, actually have a picture here of one uh, eating some bacteria. And so they'll eat bacteria, uh, cells as they're dying off, uh, and a variety of other things. So they kind of clean up the place. And then uh, depending on where in the body and what the role is, they'll actually uh, release different substances that help. Uh, so in the case if there's uh, not enough oxygen in a tissue that's trying to heal, it'll stimulate a, a new blood vessel growth. So they can really be good and helpful in the body. But uh, it turns out that the uh, local environment, the signals, can change the behavior of these uh, macrophages. And it, and it turns out that they're actually drawn into the endometriosis lesions. So if you look in the lesions themselves, there's, they're packed full of these uh, macrophages. And it turns out they're kind of macrophages gone bad. Because it turns, it turns out that what they've discovered is that under the influence of endometriosis, the macrophages are then producing what's called uh, insulin-like growth factor 1, or IGF-1. And what that does is stimulate the nerve cells to grow in culture and actually uh, becomes more sensitive. So it's a way of creating oversensitivity, uh, kind of like a sunburn inside. And uh, so this is uh, a great uh, understanding. And again, macrophages, if, if you don't remember the word, uh, you, you've got MGB, uh, macrophages gone bad. So, you know, they can be good, but these are kind of turned into juvenile delinquents and they're raising havoc in the uh, pelvis. But part of the good news is that allows us a venue to study and to better understand and hopefully uh, provide better treatment. Uh, so both pain relief and maybe even a way to tag the endo so we can find it and get rid of it one way or another. Um, so for you uh, geekoids out there, the title of the article was called Macrophage Derived Insulin-Like Growth Factor 1 is a key in neurotrophic and insulin sensitizing I'm sorry, nerve sensitizing factor and pain associated with endometriosis. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, I know this is getting a little bit more technical, but uh, uh, I've always been of the belief uh, women with endo are very educated, very smart, and uh, very capable. So uh, just trying to pass this information on to you, and uh, I think it's a, a great study. All right, take care. Talk to you later.